Hi, it's Charlie Epstein here at the 401k Coach, and I'm here with my good friend Adam Witte, CEO of Advantage Media and author of Book the Business, and we're here today talking about the power of being an author. So Adam, let's talk about really the biggest dilemma that I hear our community financial advisors talk about is, how do I get in the door? How do I generate more leads? So what makes being an author the most powerful lead generation tool somebody can have? Yeah, that's what I hear every day, whether it's advisors or other professions, I want more leads. And here's how a book has a big impact on that. Let me first lay out a scenario. If you're trying to attract deer, you wouldn't put a block of cheese in your backyard. You'd put a block of salt. If you're trying to attract mice, you wouldn't want to put a block of salt in your backyard. You'd put a block of cheese. And so most advisors, most professionals, period, don't feel bad advisors, they are trying to attract people with the wrong bait. Every advisor that I meet, I say, tell me about your ideal client profile. Mm. And most of them strive for a higher net worth prospect, i.e. turning them into a client. So if you want an affluent clientele, well, we need to think for a minute, what do affluent people value? Here's a big rule, and remember this. Poor people have big TVs, wealthy people have big libraries. Mm -hmm. The affluent value books. They value knowledge and consumption of books to learn and to develop. And so if you, an advisor, author a book and use that book as a lead generation tool, it's going to help you attract far better prospects, far better mice into your trap. Yeah, and let me be more specific. So as a 401k advisor in the 401k world, what tends to happen for all of us is, Adam, we're trying to create advocates, right? Mm -hmm. Advocacy. Mm -hmm. So if you think about it in the 401k world, as opposed to the wealth management world, what tends to happen is you're trying to get in the door, and you may be getting in the door with the HR director, mm -hmm. the CFO, but maybe not with the decision maker or decision makers, the That's ultimate right. trustees. So um, give you an example in point. It's about a $15 million retirement plan. Mm -hmm. We had sent the book out to the head of HR because that was the contact name that we could get. Sure. Uh, sent the book out, went to the first meeting. The HR director actually read the book. Mm. But here's the thing. He said, you know, I'm new. I'm the new kid here. I've only been here six months. But what he said was, these trustees need what you have. It's going to take a little bit of time for me to educate them. I said, no problem at all. I brought four more books with me, and I said, would it be helpful if you just gave my books to the other trustees? And he was like, really? I don't have to buy these? I said, no, here. Go ahead, hand them out to those trustees. So it's been about eight months. We followed back up, and he said, we're going to book a meeting with you and the trustees. Mm -hmm. Just game changer, no effort, and it created instant advocacy. But more importantly, what I want everybody to understand is, just think about this. All I did was give him my book. That gave that new person, that new HR director, enough confidence in me, a perfect stranger, who's now the authority, the expert, and the celebrity in his mind, to be able to say to those trustees, we need to be talking to the 401k coach at right. Epstein Financial, and that's the power of the book with lead generation. Yeah, and there's one other really big idea. It's a simple concept. Sounds crude to many. Better bait equals better critters. And here's the big idea. If you want to attract better clients, you've got to give them something of higher value to get their interest and attention. So what are you doing now? A free appointment? That screams sales call. Who wants a free appointment? Not me. A white paper? A CD? Nah. A blog? A blog? Website? Not very attractive. Right. But if you offer somebody a free copy of your book, See, a book is something that has tangible value because you can go to Barnes & Noble and I can buy your book for $19.95. So your book has real value. And remember, people don't throw books away. So when you give away a copy of your book, it's far better bait that's gonna attract far better prospects. Absolutely, and as I always say, here at the 401k Coach, we're interested in how to create unfair advantages for you the ultimate unfair advantage is being an author and having a book. So stay tuned for more in our series on book, more business. Thanks, Adam. Mm -hmm.